Sussex under pressure after D'Oliveira unbeaten 169. The first day of play was another difficult one for Sussex fans, but an entertaining one for Worcestershire supporters. First thanks to Ed Pollock's rapid 77 off 74 at the top of the order, and then thanks to Barnard and Dolivera's 166 run partnership. The captain unbeaten on 106 at the start of day two, with the score 338 for five. Sussex managed an early breakthrough though, Cox out caught behind for Grant Stewart's second after making the move from Kent. Joe Leach looked in a hurry when he joined Dolivera at the crease, hammering boundary after boundary to take the pairs past 350. He picked off 26 runs from 24 deliveries when his approach saw him depart, caught in the deep by Haynes off the bowling of Clark. The wicket did little to derail the pairs. They steamed on ahead towards 400 and beyond. They were going at quite some rate. That meant the captain was heading towards 150, his partnership with Baker now worth 50 off 71 balls. Baker managed to get to 43 before he fell to Rawlins, flashing a catch into the hands of Clark. Lunch taken with the score now 460 for 8, and Donavera one away from 150. And the skipper wouldn't have to wait long to get to his 150. Up to the mark after the break with a single off Crocombe. He'd taken 315 balls to get there, but it looked like he might run out of time to add much more to his score. Morris was the ninth wicket to fall, caught by Rizwan off Crocombe. And it was all over soon enough. Six off Crocombe, a final flourish from D'Oliveira, who could then only watch on from the other end as Pennington launched Crocombe high into the hands of Pajara. Worcestershire, all out for nine short of 500 runs. They'd been rampant from the off. The tone set by Pollock's quickfire 77, but the skipper had led from the front, finishing not out on 169 with 75 from Barnard, another crucial contribution. Sussex's skipper had also been their star. Haynes finishing with 3 for 50, albeit in a difficult innings for the visiting attack. But it was about to get worse for them. Ali Orr out first ball to Joe Leach. Stumps rattled. Sussex off to a horror start with the bat. Haynes played a crucial role in his side's draw with Derbyshire last week, but this time he wouldn't be able to get very far. Bowled by Morris for 26. They made it as far as 64 for 2 when T was taken. There was a long road ahead. The break was just what Sussex needed. Clark and Pajara forged a solid partnership after T, and after 58 minutes together, they'd added 50 runs for the third wicket. Pajara was carrying on his top form from last week, and once again had a big score to his name. 50 runs for the India International of 109 balls, with two worked off Baker into the leg side. This was much better from Sussex. The third wicket worth 100 runs, with 150 soon in their sights. Pajara took them there, punching Leach to the ropes off the back foot. Leach, though, struck back. Clark out caught low down by Haynes for 44. Rizwan fell to the very next ball, out for a duck, nicking through to Cox. The resistance had been broken. Leach was back with yet another wicket, his fourth. Night watchman Atkins only surviving five balls before he was bowled, departing with a quizzical look at the surface. Rawlins and Pajara held them off through to the close, but it had been yet another tough day for Sussex. Three scores of naught already on the scorecard. They'll start day three, trailing by 322 with five wickets in hand. Another top knock from Pajara would go a long way to helping them avoid the follow-on, a target the pairs will be determined to deny them.